Hi guys and welcome to the video, today I have Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me and today we are going to install and review the Galaxy S9 full ported ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So first of all, as you can see, I've broken the glass of my Galaxy S7 Edge the second time here. So the thing is that I dropped this phone four times in a single day and, you know, it got cracked three times. So, um, yeah, I'm a really unlucky person. So sorry for the broken glass on this phone here. Um, right, but now we are going to install the Galaxy S9 ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So I will split this video into two parts, as always. In the first part of this video, we are going to install this ROM. I'm going to guide you uh, all the steps and after that we are also going to take a short look on the Galaxy S9 full ported ROM. Right, so now let's start with the installation. So before we start to install this ROM there are a couple of things which you need to do. So the first thing is to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. If you haven't done that already you can watch some other videos on YouTube showing you how to do that. Right, the second thing which you need to do is to download the ROM, so you can download the ROM from the description of this video, and uh, yeah, after that you are ready to install this ROM. So the first thing which you need to do is to power off your device and boot into TWRP, so let's power off this phone here. And to boot to, TW, to the TWRP recovery you need to press the volume up button, the home button and the power button at the same time, so let's do that. So here we are in the TWRP recovery, so the first thing which you need to do is go to the wipe option here and press on advanced wipe. Here you need to select Devlik, system, data and cache. So this will basically erase all your apps, but your internal storage will still be there. So all your music files or all your documents will still be in the internal storage, but you will lose all your apps and all your settings, etc. Then you need to swipe to wipe. After this is finished, you can go back, go to the install option and locate the ROM where you have stored it. In my case, it's in the internal storage, just press on it and locate your ROM. So this here is the ROM, SAC23 ported S9 ROM. So after you have selected this ROM, you just need to swipe to flash. So as you can see the installation process is finished now, after this is finished you can reboot the system and just wait until the phone boots up to the new system. So as you can see the phone booted up now and this here is the introduction menu of the Galaxy S9 port. <clears throat> so let's say start here. Let me connect to my Wi-Fi network quickly. So as you can see here this is one of the small changes here. Here you can um, select use volume keys for media so every time when you press on the volume keys the volume of the media will be changed so here as you can see we got a couple of um, ways to protect our phone so intelligent intelligent scan won't work face recognition may work i'm not quite sure is can iris scanner won't work of course because we, we haven't got that sensor over there but the fingerprint scanner should work just fine so let's uh, test that you can see the fingerprint scanner works just fine over here So 
So here we can change the way um, of or the look of the notifications on the lock screen. So you can hide the content from here. You can also show the notification dots only. And you can even scale the transparency of the notifications from here, which is really amazing in my opinion. But I'm all, uh, only going to show the icons of the notifications. As you can see, the uh, ROM has also got the Google Assistant on board, but now we are going to skip that quickly. And here we go. So this here is um, the home screen of the Galaxy S9 port, as you can see. So you got the S9 the S9 launcher over here, which looks also really nice. You got all the new icons of the Galaxy S9. So as you can see, the messages um, thing has got a new icon over there, for example. And as you can see, this ROM is really bloated, so it hasn't got any bloatware on top. So this is a really nice thing. Um, right, so here we got the new notification panel with the new colors over here. As you can see, the blue color is a little more, more deep now so it's a deep blue and yeah so in total it looks really similar to the stock um, to the stock Oreo of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S7 Edge but there are a few differences between this ROM and um, the stock ROM and now we are going to take a look at all of these differences so as I've told you already, there are not that big differences on these on this Galaxy S9 port and the stock Oreo ROM of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, but there are uh, a few differences. So the biggest difference probably is uh, are the new wallpapers. So you got plenty of new live wallpapers or infinity wallpapers, how Samsung is calling them. So you can see that you got these Galaxy S9 wallpapers here and these standard wallpapers, and you also got the these wallpapers with this 9 over here and you also got this galaxy s3 style wallpaper of the samsung galaxy s9 and uh, yeah so let's select this one for example and let's say set as wallpaper and as you can see you got this gray gray wallpaper so it looks like it, it, um I'm not quite sure, but it looks uh, to be blue through the camera, but actually it's gray. And if we turn on the screen here, you can see that the live wallpaper is also on the always on display. If you turn on the screen, it will be on the lock screen. And if you unlock your phone, you will have this new animation, which looks really amazing in my opinion. So another new difference here is the messages app. So as you can see, it uh, has got a new color over there, which looks also really amazing. And the app itself has also got a new redesign. So as you can see, the app is blue now and it looks a little bit different. So there are small design changes in this app. So unfortunately, we didn't get the Galaxy S9 camera together with this ROM. So this is probably the only thing which hasn't imported from the Galaxy S9. So as you can see here, we have this um, Oreo um, camera on board of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which is similar to the Galaxy S8 Oreo camera. So here we can um, enable this full screen mode. You can uh, go to the settings and so on. So as you can see, they are still the same settings and there's actually nothing new over here. So the performance of this ROM is quite similar to the performance of the S7 Edge running on the stock ROM on Oreo. So you won't notice any uh, big differences on the performance. Battery wise it's also quite similar to the stock Android Oreo ROM. It may be a little bit worse than the stock ROM since this is a Galaxy S9 port. But um, yeah you will, you will definitely get one full day and let's see here let's um, take a look at the memory usage over here the ram usage um, let's clean the ram quickly here and now we can see that um, this rom uses like half of the ram so they are like two gigabytes free and the rom itself uses um, 1.8 gigabytes which is a quite decent number for a uh, for an Oreo roll. And yeah, this should be it. If you liked this video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give a dislike as always and peace out.